Okay. Today we're playing Timberborn. I've played it a little bit to get the feel of the game, see what it's like. It seems like a really good game. Uh, if you can hear me in the chat, please let me know. So we're just going to start a new game. See, wow, that music's kind of loud. I think that's okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go to a new game. I haven't unlocked these guys yet. So... Hey, Yan. Hey, Jay Buck. Welcome to the stream. So we're going to do uh, Folk Tales. I looked at some of these maps. I think the Helix Mountain looks uh, pretty fun. So we'll do that. I'm not too experienced at the game, so I'll stick with normal. And... Uh, it's kind of it's kind of fun just uh, managing the water, building dams, and it's a pretty cool game. It's still in early access. It came out in twenty twenty one. We're gonna call other city Beaver Town. So I'm just gonna pause it and kind of look around. So we do have some water up here. It'll take a while for us to get up here, but we can bust that dam or burst it. And that'll give us a better supply of water. We do get rots every so often. So we have, we have to build dams, we have to build water storage. <clears throat> but this is one source of water and then you got one over here. So we're going to have to cut down a lot of trees. That's the first thing I'll do. Oh, our building space in that way. It's okay. So I'm just going to get the... I like to put roads all around these town halls or whatever. I will want to uh, cross over here somewhere. Well, this is where, where's the, the wire's gonna come down here. So I might just keep a straight line We can adjust uh, the roads later. And uh, we have to put down flags for... This is where they uh, leave the, the, law, the trees that they've cut down. And then we have to designate which trees to cut. That's right here. This is the cutting area. Oh, we do have some stairs to get up there, too. But uh, this shows the range. So that's good enough. And then we'll have to harvest some of these berries for food. Hey, Douglas. Welcome to the stream. And then for food, we'll put down a gatherer flag. Let's put it right there, I guess. And then I'll just press play, let it go. So we'll get some wood. We need to get some water. So I'll put some water pumps here. I would like that road to come all the way down, though. So I'm just going to build that right 
I think it's free to build. And I'll put some water pumps. I mean, I could put them down here too. That might be a great spot. So I'll just start off with one. So I think I'll put down a couple of these Limberjack flags. How much does it cost? Just one log, I think. Maybe I'll put several. Because we'll need to get all that stuff cut down pretty fast. And I'll put one down here. Eventually we can irrigate these areas so that, you know, trees can grow back and we can do farming and things. We can farm in the water as well. Grow things like cattails and all that stuff. So this is a colony survival game. Uh, we have to survive droughts. Periodically, our water sources will dry up. And I think as time progresses, the droughts become more and more severe. But we can build dams. We can eventually terraform the land. We'll build uh, water mills in the river to generate electricity, which will power our lumber mills. And uh, there's a ton you can do in this game. And we can build up dams, make them deeper and... Yeah, it's, it's actually quite complex. I had to play this game for a while because I, I couldn't just jump into it. So there's a tutorial here. We've built two lumberjack flags. Uh, we've connected into a road. We've marked trees for cutting. We're working on a, a water pump. I'll just keep it on like double speed. What's this guy doing? But they have needs like, they like to have wet fur. So you could have them travel into the river or you can build showers for them. And part of the game, you want to increase your happiness level. So we got the water pump, we got a gatherer flag, and then we need to build, oh, a farmhouse. The one has to build 100 carrots. So what do, on the carrot, we built a farmhouse here. So I'm gonna start off my farm. Probably just right here. I can move this stuff later. And then I think we have the plantains over here. It wants us to do a hundred carrots. Oh, I'll let the i build the farmhouse first. Are these things full, I wonder? No, they can hold up to 20 logs, I guess. Uh, but it's nighttime and they don't work at night. Hey, Thozy. Hey, Brian. Oh, cool, Brian. I'm, I'm glad the notifications are working. Okay, these guys are just sleeping outside. I'm just going to follow the what the tutorial says first. But we'll need to get uh, water storage up and running pretty soon. So we can just do small... You can uh, you build uh, like research centers too, and you earn science points. And then we can unlock more and more things. I might keep my water right here. It's near the town center. And I'll build homes back here. And you can also, the cool thing with uh, the homes is that 
I'll just prioritize this now. We built a farmhouse. I want to plant 100 carrots. We've got 18 done. Wow, that's a really big field. I wonder, I guess I can just come back here. Okay, there, we're done that. And then we have to build a log pile and we'll have the three small water tanks and then warehouse. But I'll probably just start to do plan out the houses. Yeah, this is going to be kind of tricky because we'll do like uh, a platform above it. Which I'm not too experienced with. But I'll probably line it up with here. And we'll have to build some stairs up to the platform. I guess I could just go right, right there. And you can also like uh, mirror it. So you want the door there aside. You can just click it like that. However you want to design it. But we'll just get Four started there. And I might keep my the log pile. I'm going to do a lumber mill here and then build a water wheel to power it. So here's the roads. And I may as well build a uh, for storage, it wants me to build a log pile. I could build that there. I'll just demolish some of these. All right, there's no road to it. There we go. Yeah, it's a really fun game. It, it does get quite complex. Because this is our... It's our main district. And they have a range. So, like, this is the range for it. Our our roads will extend it to some degree. But then you can have like a district over here. Uh, maybe up here it's pretty dead. So we could do like heavy industry up here. And have a district and there's trade between the districts. I'm not too familiar with it. So it does get a little complex. But I think it's more complicated than it, it appears at first. But the stuff we're doing today... Pretty straightforward. <clears throat> and the beavers, they won't start reproducing until they have excess uh, rooms available. And there is like, there's some water physics going on. So I've noticed like my other playthrough, it's a different map. But if you built like a, a water wheel like right there, 
it's not going to move as fast as the one that's further out in the water. So I think you could like uh, fill in this area and then build like three water wheels and they might all work a lot better. You just don't want dead areas where the water has to go like this and up through there. It's going to be slower. <clears throat> And why are they not doing this job? I probably have just too many jobs going on. Okay, this guy is, uh, is he's chewing away at this tree. Look at that, and then we'll have to build a forester who will replant the trees. And it's pretty cool. Like if you if you plant pine trees, you can eventually unlock a profession that will harvest the pine sap. And if you had like uh, maple, you you get the syrup or whatever from the, from that. So it does get quite complicated, or more compl more complex. Oh, so we've reached. Your beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well-being high score. Okay. Oh, number four. We're doing quite well, I guess. So what's wrong with this guy? Nothing to do in range. Oh, I didn't uh, mark these to be cut. And when you select, it'll only do the the Z axis or whatever that you started at. Okay, so he should start cutting or chomping down those trees. So we just need a warehouse. Yeah, Brian says it's a good idea to start the production buildings immediately. Yeah, I noticed that you've really got to get things going. So where will I put this? I'll just keep it uh, back here for now. That'll store the food and planks and things. Yeah, I, I was hoping to... Get all the trees cut very fast, then get a bunch of lumber going and... I'd also want a science place, because I want to unlock those. I think we can... Yeah, we, we can't even build platforms yet. I need a platform to get over here. Here's our science area. We'll build an inventor. Does that take planks? Oh, uh, twelve logs. Okay, so I'll do this right here, I guess. And then our power is right here. So the, like right here, it's kind of in a dead zone. One, two, three, four, five. 
So can I build any dams yet? I can't really build a dam yet. Yeah, that'd be landscaping. Oh, I can build a dam. But I don't have stairs to get down there. Anyways, those three slots there, you can... That's where you connect your power. So I would like to build one... Like that. And that little damn thing is to hold... That damn thing is to hold the power shaft. So once that's built, it should have a good enough flow. Building needs power. No available workers in the district. Oh yeah, I have to get a couple more uh, houses built. Yeah, I'll do this one. So I guess these trees do grow back on their own. I'm not sure. Hopefully they can reach this. Oh, it's too far. So maybe that won't work. I think I could build two if they can build this one then they should be able to build the next it's kind of a waste of logs just to do that but Yeah, we have 52 logs. And our science accumulates over here. Yeah, none of workers, because that's my problem. But I'm going to want to have, like, you can just connect another building that requires power, like, just directly beside it. And I'm probably going to want, like, three of these things. So I do want every uh, water wheel to be as efficient as possible. Efficient as possible. Okay, build a lot. Three lodges. Got an inventor. We'll build a water wheel. Because it's nighttime, I'll just speed it up. I'm not sure well you can build different types of dams. So the dam you start off with. It blocks water, but allows them to pass through a spillway. And then we can build levees. Oh, I'm building the wrong thing. 
Yeah, I'm building a dam to get there. Uh, I thought I was building a levee. <laughs> but you can walk over these dams. Okay. I can always remove it. I think you get your... Your uh, resources back, too. So it was kind of... It, it wasn't the best to do it this way. Yeah, I wanted to build a levee, but then you can build like a floodgate and you can adjust the water level. So what we, what we would do is build like levees, which completely block everything. And then you can build up the walls and get the wall, the water a lot deeper. Yeah, I really slowed things down there. It won't be too long. We got enough logs to get that done. And then I should try to get these trees as well. Okay, so these don't reach at all. Oh, they're not even... I guess it doesn't matter, but I wanted this done first. There, they're building it. I'm just gonna... I, I slowed things down so much by doing that setup. So I'm just gonna fast forward it, or I'll put it in the fastest speed. We should survive the first draught. So we got 75 food. So we still got some trees there. So we're at level 5 happiness. Yeah, we still don't have enough uh, beavers. Okay, well, the wheel's done. This is almost done. But yeah, like, if I had built this right into there, it kind of barely moves. I want to show you the water, too. I like this view. It's so much better. But we can see it's like the water is kind of low. So yeah, I could probably build a, a dam down here. But have to get enough research to unlock the I call it the platforms. So 
I'm thinking there's science going. I'll just stick that over here for now. How can I fit it there? That'd be nice. Okay, so I should be able to get those now. Like eventually we'll work up here and we can start damming this area up. Yeah, cause this is like, water is really low here. Yeah, please like and subscribe, guys. So we got 12 adults and four children. And we got eight free beds, so that's good. So we built the water wheel, got, we powered the limber mill. Yeah, Forester. Forester is here. What does that cost? Cost 60 science. So I guess I should do that now. And then we see the range of the Forester. So I might just want to put the Forester down here. Because I'm not going to be, yeah, as close as possible. Okay, so a draw is going to come in three days. So I might want to get another pump going. Uh, we'll be okay the first, the first time. Yeah, I could have one down here too. Yeah, this will be okay though. I think that's the door, yeah. Prioritize that. And now with this guy, they're going to want us to plant pine. So get some pine trees planted. Okay, that's more than 20. But you can plant like maple. Hopefully get some maple syrup from there. Chestnut trees, you can harvest the chestnuts. And then birch is probably a source of oils or something. I'm not sure about that one, but we'll get, I think we should go for some chestnuts. And I think maple is you can see here too, it's like you get nine, with birch you get nine days of, takes nine days to get one wood. Pine takes 12 days to get two. Maple takes 30 days to get eight. So we probably want like mostly maple.
Okay, so we're done the tutorial. And we should get this done. Okay, that's done. I should make sure these are a uh, priority for the workplace. That might be too many workers there. So just free up one guy. And we're good for for beds, so I'm not sure where I'll I'd like to get down here and maybe build my first dam up there. Or this will hold the water in for our pumps. So maybe I'll just go for uh, building the platform. Well, it's a hundred science. Well, eventually I'll do that. So how many, we got 18 planks. So we'll need another one, need another lumber mill. So there's four, 15 workers, one vacancy. Yeah, so the draught is starting up here. It's going to wind its way down. And I'm assuming it gets worse and worse as the game goes on. We've got plenty of water. It doesn't last too long. I guess it lasts there like one and a half days, basically. But we'll lose power. You have other options, like you can make a little like hamster wheel for your beavers. And then just plug that in right here. So I don't think it's worth it right now because the drop won't last too long. But later on, you, or if you're desperate for planks, you could do that. But this one's like super short. Okay, we got no science. So look at the platforms. I'll unlock that. Uh, I mean, I guess I could just build it across here. This area is a little bit shorter. They take four planks and two wood each. So for now, I'll just start from here, I guess. And you still have to build your road on top. Is that level? That's a little bit higher there. So I'm going to put the road like right there. And then we'll pull up those trees. Get some, do some lumberjacking too. Okay, 
Yeah, these are Canadian beavers. They're lumberjacks and they don't care. They work all day. Yeah, I guess it takes a while for the water to kind of trickle back, but you can see everything's coming to life again. Uh, and we can even like plant more bushes over here, blueberry bushes if we want. Yeah, like this is the source of water, it kind of bubbles up. So the drought's over now and it'll slowly build up. Oh, it's easier to see like this. You see how deep that area is. So now it's flowing. And it'll eventually make its way down here. It turns around quite far though. So I guess that, these are like uh, ruins of human civilization. So I guess like humans have died out and they're extinct. And now like uh, beavers are the top of the food chain now. Yeah, scattered through the land, decrepit human ruins provide beavers with the unimaginable, a source superior to wood. So you can like uh, scavenge those for, uh, for uh, steel or iron. Oh, that's one more to build. I will need to build some more housing. Yeah, so now that we have... I'm just going to slow it down a bit. So now that we have platforms unlocked... Like, we can uh, just build a platform here. They can walk underneath it. I sort of messed this up because... It's too close. Actually, I can fix it. I can move the science thing later. But anyways. Like, you build a platform here, and then we unlock stairs. Can we do that? Yeah. I'll eventually have the stairs over here. But now we can build houses on top of each other. I think you can just keep stacking them up. And you, you do the same thing with the warehouses as well. I guess anything with the flat top. Yeah, no, the, the water is back now. Just uh, not enough workers in there. You can see, like, okay, some are dying from old age. There's some new beavers being born. Some are growing up. But once we build a dam here, you'll see the next draw. It. It'll take a much longer time for this water to, to dry up. And then if, it, if the water's too low, like the water pumps are not as productive. I think we're just short in beavers though. That's why this uh, stuff isn't working. Yeah, no available workers. So I'll just speed it up until we get some more. Oh, one beaver got injured. Oh, dehydrated. Starving. Why is that? We've got food. I'll just plant... 
More blueberry bushes. Because we're going to need more. And I guess I could plant more carrots for now. So that's over here. That's where dandelions are used for. I mean, the, the greens are edible. That's a sunflower. Oh, I thought it was a dandelion. It's a sunflower. I'll just finish off this row of carrots. Let me try a little bit of the sunflowers. I'm just going to, I wonder how I can like turn this off. See, transports goods between warehouses when idle. So I just lower the priority of that. There, now we got some, some planks being produced. Nothing. To, oh, I didn't uh, designate these to be cut. I'm just going to designate those ones that I want cut down. Okay, here comes the guy. I didn't think we'd go through food that quickly. Is everyone hungry? Yeah, they're all hungry. So it's just four days. Yeah, I don't see any nearby other than... Oh, there's the dandelions. So now that we have stairs, so I wonder if they're gathered the same way these things do. This guy just gathers berries. Is there four days left or does it take four days? Yeah, it takes four days. Okay, that's hopefully they can live for for three days or so. This is the the be blocks water completely. Here's our here's our dam. We'll just start off with this. And once we get up here, we'll break down this barrier. That'll be cool to see. 
Yeah, because we don't get any of this water. So I guess we could actually just block this area off after we break this down. Okay, now he needs a job. Cut down all these. Oops. Okay, they're finally getting food. Should do some more, I think. So they take 20 logs each. It's going to take a while to build. And I'm going to need some gears eventually too. There's the aquatic farmhouse. This one will make gears. And then start building more water wheels. And we can just build them like directly across. Doesn't matter which side, I guess. Then I can have like some more lumber mills over here. And we can go under the water too. much food that's not good the well beans minus one <laughs> so I need to get these roads up here Should be, oh, I think there's one spot missing. There we go. There, new homes, 50 new beds. You can see the water, how it like kind of flows in through here now. It's really cool. Like this area is much more slower.
Okay, they're harvesting the carrots. I may as well just keep like over planting. <laughs> Because I don't know if I'm overplanting or still underplanting. Still two vacancies. in like every every inch yeah you can get irrigators eventually too which will uh, water an area make it fertile again their okay, dams halfway built yeah it's so cool you can see like the water is like speeding up over here so even just making the dam narrow, it should hold more water in. I'm hoping anyways. Oh, here comes a draw. Well, our water's good, our food is terrible. And the draw will stop everything from growing. This game is a little bit... Harder than I thought. gonna be able to stop it yeah my my games are not going too great lately did you see the stranded really uh, the stranded video Douglas the live stream I thought you were there Yeah, I don't know what to do with, I know I can do like, uh, a 
aquatic farmhouses, but it's a lot to build, I think. So the grills were cooking potatoes. It's like one potato produces four food. Oh, beehive boosts the growth of nearby crops. It's 400 science, though. So maybe we should have done, like, potatoes, and then you can make a grill. That's what the t tutorial show to told us, was to make p potatoes. Maybe they take longer to grow. So six days for one. So I'm going to build a farm out here. Yeah, it's... At least I'm getting more harvest coming, but... It's looking pretty bad. I don't know if we can harvest these things. I would think it would be like a gatherer would get that. I'll just try it out. Okay, just three more. We don't have the lumber flat though. So, we might all die soon. Oh, the drought started. Okay. See, it stops pumping from up here. comes everything's drying up Yeah, maybe I don't have enough farmers as well. I'm going to prioritize this. Because these look all ready, so maybe that's an issue too. I just didn't have the food prioritized. Yeah, it's too late. We're losing it. Oh no. So I have time to harvest that at least. Yeah, so that was probably the issue is just wasn't enough workers and I didn't prioritize it.
we get rid of that one. Oh, it's a quick draw. Yeah, I think these are done. Those are birch. Oh, it takes forever to get back. Yeah, it looks looks pretty nasty. Okay, so this area is filled up. I guess that area never drained. This is too deep. Okay, here we go. Precious water. I'll have to figure out what you do with dandelions. Or how you harvest them. It seems to be a gatherer would, would do it. Okay, here we go. Our, oh, man. So these must... Yeah, these all are died... So rough, well, three days with no food. So now our dam's built and it'll help keep this water in, in here. And then I'll build one down here, which will help this water uh, get it'll get deeper and hold it back. Yeah, we, we have water. So I should probably move this guy. Yeah, this water looks a little bit deeper already. Not sure if it actually is or not.
Oh, the, the, the beaver swimming in. So I guess I'll continue the road up here. Just gonna have to demolish those. I guess I'll just build it across there. I'll just wait until we build up our wood. That's within range. It's still within range of our district. Yeah. So the observatory produces a lot more science per hour. You get 10 for not even an hour. This gives you one per hour. But the observatory, I guess it needs power and you need gears to build it and pine sap. So I'll have to unlock, I think it's, it's the tapper's shack. Employs tappers who gather sap and syrup from trees. So maple syrup and pine resin. Oh, that's 500. So I think that's where we should go. It's the word shop. This just, just takes... It's a water dump. That's just gears. In a mini lodge. Yes, I might want to unlock the bigger lodges. So right now we just get three. Whereas these get six. Okay, so they can get dandelions, I guess. Okay, well that's good. It's more food. Yeah, I'm just going to unlock these lodges. See what they look like. I wonder if I can just jump ahead. So 20 for 6, 35 for 9. Oh, it's already like two levels. Okay, that's really cool. It look like is it the right direction? Yeah, 
I don't really see where the door is. I guess the arrow blocks it. Yeah, where's the door? Oh, the dog wants in. Well, I'm surprised we're still alive. Yeah, food's still an issue. I guess I don't know if I have enough farmers. That has to be the reason. And just not enough workers. Yeah, there's way too many crops. Leave that and just get rid of this. Oh, I tried again. Yeah, I need more. Uh, yeah, I think some have died or something. So I have 13 adults, two children. So I think some must have, yeah, they're dying of hunger. So a bunch died. Which I've seen happen even in like uh, games that are pretty far along and sophisticated. Sometimes they uh, mismanage the food and you get a big die off. So with like this house, I don't know if you have to build like to the second level to access it. That's what it looks like. It looks like you have to build platforms. Yeah, because that's where the door is. So yeah, so the, it is expensive to build these houses then. So I'm wondering if this one... I'm just going to unlock it so what it looks like. But it's the same thing. So it might be better just to build the regular lodges. But it's 12 for 3. Hmm. Yeah, you have to build a platform to it. So delivery. <laughs> yeah, this game didn't go too well. <laughs> My first playthrough was pretty good though. I played on a different map as well. And I think there's a lot more trees in the the first one I started. You don't have to worry about like building these bridges and stuff. It's 
We have like 26 free rooms. So how many do they employ? Just two workers. Yeah, that's like way too much work for them. So next time I play, I'll have to start off a lot slower. I would definitely do potatoes. Like carrots at first, but then do potatoes. And you already get the grill unlocked. And that seems like way more efficient. I also wasted so many resources just building those little dams. So I could build a water wheel right there. So you really have to uh, use your resources properly, at least in the beginning. You have to be very careful. So I'll probably stream Stranded, oops, sorry, Stranded Alien Dawn tonight. <laughs> I just have to like salvage everything. Did you, were you there, Douglas? So I'll probably end the stream right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and please subscribe if you haven't. This stream didn't go too well, this uh, gameplay. But I think uh, Timberborn's a pretty good game. It just takes a lot of practice. Oh, that water is... Uh, I didn't realize the drought was happening. So even though the drought was happening... This dam has really kept the water in for a long time. And the drought's almost over. Yeah, so that's... That's really great. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.